Hello everybody. By demand, today we'll be making an XOR gate, and I'll be showing you why. First up, I've got this door prepared, you know, two switches. And say you want to open the door from the inside and the outside. So you have a switch on the inside and a switch on the outside. So you're inside and you want to go out. You open it, go through, and hey, you don't want skeletons going through while you're out. So you... Oh, wait, you can't close it. Um, <laughs> so, with a wooden door, you know, it's easy enough, but say you've got an iron door, that won't actually close. You've got to turn off the signal from inside before you can turn off the signal from outside. Basically, uh, doors as they stand require uh, no input at all for them to be closed. Any input will make them open, and so if one switch is on, toggling the other one will do absolutely nothing. And so the idea is y you need a circuit that conforms the two signals input into a single output that determines whether it's open or closed. You can see my mineshaft. Nice. Alright, so we start with a um, block there and we'll put the input switches here and... Oh, no, we won't them here and here is good yep okay so first we take this as input and have it going down here and feeding into this block so it'll power that block and again the same there all right so so far I turn it on that block gets power that torch is off I turn this on, the torch remains off. So same deal. It's receiving any power, it's going to be off. So both off, it turns on. And we feed power out of that, and then left and right. And like that. And of course I've just killed the circuit because it's burned out. Let's replace that. Okay. So then you put two pieces of dirt there. Again, it can be any block you want. Um, one, two, and these are going to be off if, again, they're receiving any input. So if both switches are off, then this torch is going to be on, which means that these blocks are going to be receiving power. If either one is on, then this central one is going to be off, but the block next to it is going to be receiving power, so it's going to be off. But the other block will be on. If they're both receiving power, same deal again. They're both receiving power, they're both off. And then you just take a wire from them. Yep. And that's your output wire. So again, let's have the door. Alright, they're the same right now, which means there's no power going through the end. Turn it on. Door opens. Turn it off. Door closes on, off, on. Doors open, I, s I go through it, then I decide to close it from outside. Ta-da. Uh, that's, that's all as all gate is. Sorry, XOR. And really, uh, really simple. And I'm bad with doors, apparently. I will show you one more thing while dodging my mineshaft. Say you want to work with a double door. Well, you got to do this. Um, you've got to have a knot gate, and then that, the door, closing door, yep. and then that. Because uh, to open two doors at the same time, in the same pattern, like that, uh, the power they're receiving has to be opposite, and so you just feed the same input, at, sorry, same output. Uh, into one block and into a NOT gate so that it turns into an OFF signal or an ON signal, whatever. So then, let's try it without that. And you'll see that they open alternately. Which is not ideal. So, like... that. Are they both open? Well, no they're not. I failed. Tell you why. It's annoying. Redstone has to actually be pointing at the block to power it, so there you go. Remember? 
this is receiving no power because they're both the same but now they're different so it is receiving power Ta-da! and if you want to um, change which signal it is on or off that actually opens or closes the doors then you just place uh, the alternator on the other side or just put an alternator on this power line so the on signal conforms to uh, off for the doors. Alright, hope that helps. Bye.